Hey guys, I'm back with another video, and um, I know this is probably not the best time to review anything, but um, I've had a long couple of days, so here it is. Um, or it's not a couple of days, but um, anyway, I was gonna get it out, you know, in the evening, but I had a long day, so um, here it is, my review of. Uh, Spider-Man Deadpool number 8 and uh, Punisher and Daredevil number 4 so uh, I don't really regularly read comics because I don't have a store near me so uh, usually if I just f if I find it I'll just pick it up and review it and that's that but um you know I'm usually gonna be behind by like a milestone like a freaking large gap um, so yeah, I'm generally behind on my comic books. I usually pick up like trades and whatnot of stuff and read those because at least then I can have volume one and get like the proper gist of everything. But, um, uh, there's a lot of black in these issues, by the way. Black and red. A lot of black and red. Okay, so Daredevil, or, excuse me, Spider Man and Deadpool. You know, I keep seeing those two mixed up. Spider-Man Deadpool, number, number eight. But you know, the thing I would just realized about this is, um, there aren't, like, any big titles. That, like, it's just that symbol and then the picture. Now, they have the words right there, but for the most part, it's just an image. It's pretty neat, actually. Because, like, with uh, this one, you get, like, a logo at the top and the image. But with that, this one is just a logo. There's no words except for you know right here. But you, you get the idea. There's no giant lettering. So this one, um, I read issue maybe two of this. I think it was two or three, somewhere in there. It was one of the earlier issues. And it had Miles Morales in it. It had Miles Morales in the Spider Mobile. And uh, no, no, it was the Deadpool Mobile, I guess. And it had Mysterio in it, so that was the one I read. Um, it was funny, like, uh, Joe Kelly, he's pretty, I love his comics, because I read a bit of, uh, Spider-Man, The Return of Black Cat, I believe it's called. That's funny stuff. And his, the other issue, the one I read of this is pretty funny, too. This one, um... Uh, I personally didn't find it all that funny, like, I didn't find it, like, super hilarious. We see Spider-Man get a new costume, which I find pretty neat. It's a brand new suit. So, that's pretty cool. I like it a lot. It's really simple. Just black, red eyes, red spider, and then, uh, like a black widow symbol on his hands. It's pretty cool. We find out who the villain is. Um, and we get a nice little bromance between Deadpool and Spider-Man. But yeah, for the most part, it seems kind of just... I, I didn't find it super funny or anything. It was a good issue, you know. It was interesting. Um, I'm probably going to spoil, spoil it. Um, but... Uh, yeah. It's... And again, I'm really lost, because I don't know, like, what exactly... And it, and it does tell you what happened at the very front of it, of course, like a comic book should. Um, but yeah, apparently Peter Parker's been killed, I guess, and brought back to life. So he's kind of angry at Deadpool. Um, but we see... Deadpool takes off his, his uh, mask. And, uh, it's interesting. Because, uh, spoiler alert, it doesn't look like he has, it doesn't look like he has cancer, so, that's interesting. It looks, it kind of reminds me of Flash Thompson, but, whatever, that's no big deal, I guess. So, yeah, it was a, it was a, 
decent issue for it was. It was my only problem with comics like this is uh, Deadpool can't be as funny, and I'm pretty sure Deadpool is T-rated in his own comic. Maybe I could be wrong on that, but I feel like for the most part he's T-rated anyway, right? Because it's a Marvel book, so he can't be used to his full potential. I could be wrong. If you want to fact check me on that, that's fine. But I thought I I I think Deadpool was T-rated anyway. But I feel like Deadpool can't be used to his maximum limit on a T-rating. That's the only downfall. But uh, yeah, it was a decent issue, by the way. There was a new villain I've never heard of before, Patient Zero, and he has these weird man-like. They call them manstrosities. Uh, he was he was fine. He was cool. Whatever. So yeah, good issue. I'd recommend picking it up if you like if you like that series and whatnot. So uh, yeah. And there's Daredevil and Punisher, issue four, yeah, issue four. So there you go. It was, um, and again, like I said, I'm usually behind on comics, so I don't know what what the storyline for this is. Apparently, did apparently Matt Murdock sent somebody to Texas on a on a trial, and you know, Texas is a death penalty state so they can kill the guy and uh... there's a bus and Crimson Dynamo stops the bus and Daredevil and Punisher fight Crimson Dynamo and Punisher uh, gets to her hand with a rocket launcher and just like kills Crimson Dynamo apparently more or less is I mean he could easily still be alive but from the context of the story it appears he's dead. Um, so, yeah. And then Daredevil and Punisher get into a classic fight about, oh no, you killed Crimson Dynamo, you monster. And then, uh, you know, just a classic Daredevil Punisher debate about, like they always do. And then, you know, he's like, and then Punisher says, it's a death penalty state, so what are you trying to stop me for? He's gonna die anyway. So then Daredevil just knocks him out and he goes on the hunt for uh Antovio, I cannot pronounce his name. I'll just call him Antivon or something. And apparently Daredevil has a sidekick now. I didn't know that. Blind spot. I don't think I like that a whole lot. Um I don't think I like that idea a whole lot. I prefer Daredevil to be a solo character, but that's just my opinion. Um, so he knocks out Punisher, goes on the hunt for him, and apparently Blind Spot can maybe go invisible. I don't know his power set, so I'm just kind of like, whatever. He seemed to be invisible in the comics, so he's invisible. Uh, so he gets the upper hand and he kind of like uh, distracts Aunt Devon, and then Daredevil just like throws his billy club and knocks him out and then as Antivon is being uh, shackled and put up on the airplane Punisher has his sniper rifle and he uh, is going to shoot him and then Daredevil's like you know why are you going to just shoot me and get it over with even in the leg then you can take your shot and he's like, why are you trying to stop me? Because he's going to die. And it kind of goes through the same thing. But he's like, you know what? I don't want you to kill him. He shouldn't be killed by me. Or you. You know. He should be killed by the law. And then Punisher says, well, I can make it to Texas. And then Dirtle says, so can I. Ah, oh, I can too, you know. And then that's where the issue ends. Again, it was pretty good. I love the costume that Daredevil is wearing. I believe it. I'm pretty sure it was in Shadowland. I'm pretty sure. Again, if you want to fact check me on all this stuff, that's fine. Go for it. Um, but I believe it was in Shadowland. It's a really cool costume. I like it. So, uh, yeah, this is a good one, too. I don't know if I like the art in this one as much because the faces look kind of weird. Like, uh, right there, like that's a 
it looks kind of like a weird face in my opinion but I can't draw with a darn so you know I can't critique other people that's just my opinion so yeah pick those up if you like it uh, Daredevil Punisher number four and Spider-Man Deadpool number eight uh, I liked both of them the art was better in this one than in this one I thought the weird faces were kind of weird uh, this one I didn't find as funny as the other one I read but it was still a good read, nonetheless. Um, and tomorrow I may make another video. Because tomorrow is somebody's birthday. So we're going to try to celebrate it in a certain way. Uh, it's somebody's birthday. Actually, it's like two people's birthdays. So we're going to celebrate them. Uh, so yeah, be on the lookout for that. Thanks for watching and peace.